Hello, this is a video to show you how to use the rhythm sheets that we've been doing in the dot to dot drumming sessions. So, um, first off, we've got what the notation means. So when you see a really big, long note like this, it's a circle with no stem, so you just have the head note and it's not filled in. We call this a four, or, 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 and it lasts for four beats, so it's clapped like this. Four, or, or, or. And if we're doing it on the drum, Okay. Um, for the moment when we're doing the rhythms we're going to keep the hand down which will slightly dampen the sound but um, it will give them the idea of holding them for four notes so it's or, 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 or. The next longest note is one of these which is called a two woo. Each one lasts for two beats. It goes two woo, two woo. The next ones that we've got are one beat notes. And we call these tars. They go ta, 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 ta. And finally, the fastest notes we've got. And each of these is worth a half beat. We call these tts. And this would go t, 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 t. Okay. Um, the rhythm exercises that I've got, I've got the these notations that I've just shown you, but some of them are red and some of them are blue. The ones that are red are played with the right hand. I've got my hands mirrored here, so this is actually my left hand, but hopefully looking at it, it looks like my right hand. Um, and this one is my blue hand, okay? Um, for the first sheet of exercises, all of the notes are... Um, played together by both hands. So the first exercises is just repeated tars. So they go ta, 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 etc. Okay. Um, the second ones are two woos repeated. Two woo, two woo, two woo, two woo. Um, so that the children find it easier to keep this steady beat, I'd recommend you put some pop music on or something with a very sort of, um, or some drumming music, but something that has a steady beat. It also makes the rhythmic exercises a bit more interesting. The last, um, the next one has got four or ors together. These are actually called semi-breves in real music, but I prefer to call them four or ors, say as it is. So it's four or, 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 four or, or, or. And etc. And the last one actually has a mixture of tars, two woos, and fours. And so the last pattern on the first sheet you were given goes like this: ta, ta, two woo, four or or or, two woo, ta, ta, four or or or. And there's two little dots at the end of each exercise. That means that you repeat. So you go back to the beginning of the exercise and you do it all again. Okay, so that is the first sheet of rhythm exercises explaining how the notation works and the language that we use and then how to do that first sheet of rhythm exercises.